Yeah, number six, chapter six. The one you had a little bit a while ago, that's the one. Uh, yeah, that's the one. You have to go. Uh, Uh Ling Chin If you all heard that I just came back from Korea, and today we're talking about Earth Store Buddhazava, and do you know that he's also a Korean? Yes, he's a Korean prince. And because he liked to study Buddhism, so he went to China, and he found the place at the Jiuhua San, Jiuhuasan, you know, the Jiuhua Mountain. And then, and he felt that uh, the area over there, that mountain, is so peaceful and quiet, so he decided to stay there and cultivate. He stayed at Jiuhuasan for 75 years. When he went to China, he was only 24. And imagine he stayed there for 75 years. So that means he did not enter Nirvana until 99 years old. Um, I don't know how many of you had been at Jiuhua Mountain. Anybody? Uh, yes. <laughs> OK, Jiuhua Mountain, uh, if you remember, we have to climb a lot of stairs because uh, the way place was built way up in the mountain. And so uh, the only way to get up to the uh, Earth Store Bodhisattva's way place is to climb up all those stairs. If I remember correctly, there is one area we have to climb about almost a thousand steps, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember my legs were so sore. <laughs> anyway, so the Earth Store Bodhisattva stayed there for 75 years and spread the Buddha Dhamma over there. There is a story about the Earth Store Bodhisattva, how he uh, obtained the uh, place at Jiuhua Mountain. I'll tell you a little bit more later on. Okay, maybe we can start watching the video now. Uh, 
么今天呢，咱们讲一讲这个地藏菩萨。其地藏菩萨在佛教里头啊，是一位啊孝顺的菩萨。这一位菩萨，他生生世世啊就孝顺父母，啊，令父母啊，呃，都呃得度，啊。All these、uh, high-tech things. Uh. <laughs> well, at least is、uh, one good thing about it, because、uh, this time when I traveled to Hong Kong, and they told me that they're using my、uh, lessons to teach、uh, on Sunday school. <laughs> So, because there are Sunday school, majority of the students are teenagers, and so they get to watch the video and also learn the Chinese. And also, because a lot of、uh, these young people, they are also learning English. So, from this lesson, they can learn both. Yeah, and also the Dharma.、Yeah. 那、嗯、么因为这样子，所以这个《地藏经》呢、嗯，这一部经是佛教的里边的一部孝经。一部孝经啊，这释迦牟尼佛啊，到刀立天宫，对着十提欢音，也就是这个能天主，来呀、啊，呃，说法，呃，救度啊，呃，这个威母说法。救度世间一切众生，所以啊，提出来这个地藏菩萨，地藏菩萨他的愿力啊是最大的，所以呃，一般人呢和地藏菩萨都非常有缘。他说这样子，他说地狱不空，誓不成佛，众生度尽，方正菩提。那、嗯、么我们想一想。地狱什么时候会空呢？啊，那么所以地地狱不空，地藏菩萨不成佛。那么这个愿力是无穷无尽的，没有啊，呃，在广大的呃这么大的愿力，他因为呃在生生世世啊，为救度他母亲，为孝顺父母。那发大愿力，发这样的大愿力，也就是啊，呃，要度他父母离苦得乐。那么他不单度自己的父母，他愿意所有的众生都离苦得乐，所以发这样的大愿力。那么因为这个，释迦牟尼佛才赞叹他。说地藏地藏，汝之智慧不可思议。说你的智慧呀、啊，是没有人能比的。你的呃，这个辩才也是不可思议的。呃，你的神通也是不可思议的。那么地藏菩萨和每一位众生都有大因缘。那、啊、么每一位众生啊，应该常念恭敬，那么。大愿地藏王菩萨，俺们能常念地藏王菩萨，地藏王菩萨也是常念俺们啊，互相啊念念相通，俺们呃将来和地藏菩萨也作为眷眷属。Okay, you just finish watching the video. See how much you remember. Okay,、uh, the slides, please. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. 
No. Uh, it's same. Yeah. Sakamuni Buddha prays uh, the earth door uh, Bodhisattva. Uh, this Korean, uh, Prince. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, same one. I think it's in Tang Dynasty, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's in Tang Dynasty that he went to China to learn Buddhism. Well, because uh, see, in Korea, uh, there is not much Buddhism in Korea at that time. So, but Buddhism is already uh, went to China. And so, uh, I don't remember exactly what year that he was born, but I think uh, it is Tang Dynasty. He was about 24 years old, and then uh, he left home. He was the prince uh, of uh, uh, one of the Korean uh, um, I, I forgot what's the name of the emperor. But anyway, um, it's because there is uh, some civil war inside of Korea. So he, later on, he uh, felt that, you know, as a human being, uh, you have to face life and death, and you would probably die in just a short time without even any control. So that's why he decided that uh, he wanted to leave home and then uh, went to learn more about Buddhism. And as uh, Buddhism in that time is much uh, more uh, deep uh, teachings in China than in Korea. So he went to uh, China and found this place in Jiuhua Mountain. And he fell in love with this place. You know why it's called Jiuhua Mountain? In the old time, Jiuhua Mountain was not called Jiuhua. That's Jiuhua. Jiuhua is nine uh, flowers. That's what that means. Because in that area, there are nine uh, tall mountains. It's almost like uh, nine pieces of flowers. And that's why it's called Jiu Hua. But in the old time, originally named Jiu, Jiu Zi, nine son, uh, child. But after the poet Li, Li Bai, and he wrote a poem to describe this uh, mountain. And then because in his poem, there's one sentence, one verse say about uh, Describe this nine mountain is like nine flowers. So that's why it was changed uh, to name uh, Jiu Hua. Actually, in the old time, Hua is the same character as Hua, you know, the flower Hua. And Hua, although we, say, we see the character here is Hua, but actually it's the same meaning as Hua. S same thing like Fa Hua Jing. You know why we name, we call it Hua Hua Jing because that also means Hua is flower. Yeah. So Jiu Hua San, uh, that's how uh, the name came from. And then also there is a story about how this uh, earth earth store Bodhisattva uh, obtained the uh, place to build the uh, to build the temple. Uh, it's a very, uh, you know, a well-known story uh, in China. You know, because he was cultivated uh, in a cave for quite many years after he went to Jiuhua Mountain. And he had nothing to eat. He only uh, used some of the uh, dirt. Uh, those kind of dirt is a special type of dirt. Uh, in Chinese, they call it guan yin tu, you know, guan yin dirt, guan yin clay. Uh, and in the old time in China, they call it bai tu, it's white clay. And nowadays, with the uh, technology, they uh, analyze this uh, type of clay. It is edible, you know. 
because uh, I remember my parents were telling me that uh, during the World War II, a lot of people had nothing to eat in China. And some people, they found this uh, guan yin tu, you know, the guan yin clay. They just eat that. And that's what Earth Store Bodhisattva ate, with, because up in the mountain, there's nothing else. Sometimes he may get a little bit offerings from the local people and uh, brought him some rice. But then, so little bit of rice cannot last so many years. So he mixed a little bit of rice with the dirt, with this uh, clay, I should say. Uh, and then cook it, and that's uh, his daily diet. And then also uh, pick some uh, wild vegetables, you know, some vegetables uh, that grow wild over there, and then some fruits, you know, that's, that's his diet. And also later on, uh, with this high technology now, <laughs> they discover why that he can live so long, because he lived in a very simply, uh, simple life, you know, uh, with very simple fruits. And also, he worked hard uh, all those years when he was uh, spreading the Dhamma in Jiuhua Mountain. And the story about uh, how he uh, be able to get the place to build the temple, that's because uh, there's one wealthy person. He actually owned all the lands in Jiuhua Mountain, all 99 peaks of lands in Jiuhua Mountain. And because he saw uh, the Earth Store Bodhisattva cultivate so hard uh, in the cave, then he decided that he wanted to uh, donate some land to him and uh, let him build a temple because he realized that uh, at the time that Earth Store Bodhisattva was cultivating in the cave, is such a, a good cultivator. So, and then he said to the Earth Store Bodhisattva that, uh, you know, I would want to offer a piece of land for you to build a temple here. And uh, you can choose any place you want because all these 99 peaks that I own, all of them. So you can choose the land that you want. And then uh, Earth Store Bodhisattva said, Okay, uh, I only need one uh, jiasa, you know, one sash full of land, and that will be good enough for me. You know, the sash, you know, the uh, monk wearing that sash. So that uh, wealthy person was really wondering, gee, just a sash full of uh, land, that's a very small piece of land. How can you build a temple on it? And then, and then he asked the uh, Bodhisattva, he said, you sure that's all you need? And Earth Store Bodhisattva said, yes, that's all I need. And then so the wealthy person said, okay, then uh, I gave you a sash full of land for you to build the temple. But how can I measure uh, the land, uh, how big is your sash? So maybe let me make a measurement so I can offer you the land. And then so Earth Store Bodhisattva took off his sash and then just throw it in the air and hear the sash cover all 99 peaks <laughs> of the lands. So, the wealthy person cannot go back to his word, right? <laughs> he said, it's up to Earth, Earth Store Bodhisattva to choose the land, so he chose all 99 peaks of lands. So that's how uh, uh, it was uh, about the story, uh, about how he uh, claimed the land to build the temple. Okay, let's go back to our video, okay? <laughs> Uh, to, to learn Chinese from Venerable Master Xuanhua's video. 
In Chinese, can you read it for me? You already learned learned that. Okay, start. Tong Sun Hua Shang Ren the Lu Xiang Dai Xue Zong Wen. One more time. Tong Sun Hua Shang Ren the Lu Xiang Dai Xue Zong Wen. Okay. Zong Wen. What is Zong Wen? Chinese, yes. Lu Xiang Dai. What's Lu Xiang Dai? Video. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, this is the new lesson. It's about Di Zhang Pusa. Okay. In the Sanskrit, it's Ksitagaba Bodhisattva. That is uh, the Sanskrit, and but in Chinese we call it Earth Door Bodhisattva. And Earth Door Bodhisattva came from Korea to China and stay at Jiuhua Mountain. Jiuhua Mountain is in the Anhui Province, and he stayed there for seventy-five years, and he entered Nirvana at age ninety-nine with an undecayed body. You know the whole body sorella. If you go to Jiuhua Mountain nowadays, you still be able to uh, pay your respect to the uh, Earth Star Bodhisattva's uh, body sorella. Although you may not be able to see it uh, because it's already contained inside a pagoda, but uh, that is where it's uh, uh, put in uh, the body sorella. And then the Chinese said, "Di Zhang Pusa." Di Zhang Pusa. Then his uh, his his Korean name is Jin Chao Jue. Jin Chao Jue. I have it in parentheses. Uh, there's two names. One is Min Gong. Another one is Dao Ming. Min Gong is the wealthy person that offered the land to uh, Earth Door Bodhisattva. Usually, if you go to uh, Jiuhua Mountain, almost in all the uh, monastery, you will see the Earth Door Bodhisattva in the middle, and then one old man on the one side and one young monk on the other side. The old man is that wealthy person, Min Gong, and the young monk is Dao Ming. Dao Ming actually is the son of Min Gong, but uh, he became Earth Door Bodhisattva's first left home disciple. So that's why generally they will put these two uh, people uh, next to the Earth Door Bodhisattva statue. Okay, let's read the Chinese. Di Zhang Pusa, Jin Chao Jue, Min Gong, Dao Ming. Okay. I don't know. You notice, uh, Di Zhang Pusa, the second word Zhang instead of uh, Tang. Okay. Uh, this same character. And can be written. Uh, I mean, can be uh, read in two ways. One is Zhang. One is Tang. Tang is uh, like a verb, you know, to store. But Zhang is uh, a noun, so it's like Bao Zhang, you know, it's treasure. Okay, the next slide, please. Okay. In the video, our 师父 told us that Di Zhang Pusa is a gracious Pusa. Gracious. What is gracious? Anybody knows? Gracious. Fair. 
Phil, filial piety. Xiao Shun, he's a very filial person because he saved his parents in every life. That's why he was named as a Xiao Shun Pusa. Therefore, we also say his sutra, the Di Zhang Jing, the Earth Door Sutra, also the Xiao Jing in Fo Jiao. In Buddhism, okay. And in the video, also Sifu mentioned about Dao Li Tian. Dao Li Tian is actually the number thirty-three sky. You know, we have uh, thirty-three heavens, right? Okay, the number thirty-three. Is Dao Li Tian, and Dao Li Tian is up on the Xu Mi San Ding. It's up on the Xu Mi Xu Mi San Peak. Xu Mi San. Okay, and uh huh. Well, that's what the uh, it was said in the sutra. Yeah. I don't know either. <laughs> I just read it in the sutra. The number thirty-three is the Xu Mi San Ding. Okay, that is uh, the number thirty-three heaven. Okay, the other thirty-two is uh, each direction have eight. So that is thirty-two, right? Four times eight. You know, each direction: east, south, west, and north. So each direction have eight. Heavens, and so that makes thirty-two, and this is number thirty-three is right in the center. And the uh, uh, Lord of the number thirty-three heaven is called Si Si Ti Huan Yin, or we call it Di Shi. Okay, in Sanskrit is Sakra Divana Mindra. I hope my Sanskrit is okay. <laughs> anyway, so um, this is uh, the Di Shi Di Shi Ah Shi Ti Huan Yin. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, read the Chinese. Di Zhang Pu Sa. Xiao Shun the Pu Sa. 生生世世，令父母得度。佛教的孝经，就是《地藏经》。刀立天，第三十三天，须弥山顶上。尸体还阴，三十三天主，第十。One more time, please。地藏菩萨，孝顺的菩萨，生生世世，令父母得度。佛教的孝经，地藏经，刀立天，第三十三天，须弥山顶上，尸体还阴，三十三天主，第十。Okay, next please. Okay, we just said that uh, the Earth Door Bodhisattva has great vows, and 
Most people know about the two verses to describe his great vows, because he said that, 地狱未空，誓不成佛。众生度尽，方证菩提。That means unless the hells are empty, I will not become a Buddha. Only when all beings are saved, I then will realize Bodhi. That is the greatest vows. And when we talk about ah, 众生度尽 we talk about all the beings that were born after Sakamuni Buddha's Nirvana. And before Maitreya Buddha Buddha exists, and that during all those periods, that all the beings during all those periods, that's what the vows refer to. 大愿力 that is the great vows. 离苦得乐 because his great vows. He want all the beings will li ku de le. That means to liberate all the beings from sufferings and attain bliss. Okay, let's read the Chinese. Di zhang pu sa. Di yu wei kong. Shi bu cheng fo. Zhong sheng du jin. 方正菩提，大愿力，离苦得乐。One more time, please. 地藏菩萨，地狱未空，誓不成佛，众生度尽。方正菩提，大愿力，离苦得乐。Okay, any questions before we go to the next one? 乐，快乐的乐 ，you know, happy, happiness or bliss. Yeah. Di yu, that is hell. Two two words, di yu. Because it's underground, that's why we have the character di. Di yu, yu means like、uh, confined into a place, so it's like、uh, jian yu, a jail. Ah,、uh, but this is not a regular jail. It's di yu, it's underground. That you can find underground, so that is the hell. Cheng, cheng. That means to become. Yeah, cheng fo. Di yu wei kong shi bu cheng fo. Okay. Wei kong. That means、uh, not empty. Yeah. Wei can be used with other words to say not yet something. Which one? Wei. Yeah. You can say it with something else like uh, uh, wei wei lai. You know, uh, that is the future. Uh, or uh, wei liao. That means it's not finished. Uh. Yeah, you can use that character for many, many things, many other sentences. Actually, way、uh, in this、uh, verse it also means no or not, you know. But because in Chinese、uh, poetry or Chinese、uh, verse, you know, usually they try not to use two characters together. Like for instance, 地狱未空 you could say 地狱不空 you know that's what the, the our 师傅 said in the video, you know that means not it's not 
empty yet, you know. And because we use the bu in the uh, following, right? Si bu cheng fo bu. So that's why they use wei, wei kong instead of bu kong. Okay. Di yu wei kong si bu cheng fo. This is uh, uh, one of the, uh, I would say, uh, not a standard, you know, uh, when you compile a poetry, you try not to use two characters uh, in the same sentence or same verse. So the, but generally, you use, uh, because you want to uh, let people know about the meaning, it's still the same meaning as uh, bu. So in this one, they use wei. That means it's not empty. If the hell is not empty, then the restorable desire will never become a Buddha. Mm -hmm. Puti, puti is a zheng puti dao, right? That means you will already obtain the uh, result as a Buddha, you know. That's because if you have not obtained the uh, um, Dharma, you will not be able to uh, become a Buddha. And also it will, see, because Bodhi is actually is a Sanskrit. And we just translate it into Chinese as Puti because Bodhi also means so many different meanings. That's why we do not translate the meaning, we just translate the sound. So we call it Puti. So you see it in English, I put down uh, Bodhi, and that is actually a Sanskrit. It's not uh, English. Same thing like Buddha. That is also a Sanskrit. And uh, Nirvana, you know, like uh, over here. So Bodhi is just like uh, you already uh, obtained to the uh, enlightenment. What happened? <laughs> Somebody fell? Is, is it okay? <laughs> That's the way to obtain Bodhi. Bodhi. <laughs> well, you know, just like uh, Xu Yun Lao Sang, you know, the Venerable Master Xu Yun, you know, somebody dropped, he just dropped a cup and then he got enlightened and then obtain the, uh, well, obtain the body. <laughs> okay, any more questions before we? Du Jin. Du Jin, okay. Du Jin, that means to finish liberation, finish uh, to uh, cross over people, uh, cross over human beings, Du Jin. Yeah, complete, uh, or save the beings, that's what I put down here. You know, to actually do jin is to cross over all the be beings. Okay, any more questions? Fang zheng, fang zheng pu teng, fang zheng, zheng. Yeah, zheng is to uh, realize or to obtain, uh, or to obtain, uh, obtain, yeah. Yeah, zheng, zheng, fang zheng, then will realize body. Mm-hmm. Fang, fang, zheng. Yeah. Okay. Any more? Okay, next slide, please. Okay, 
uh, Sakamuni Buddha. As you all know, before he became the Buddha, he was a prince, right? Same thing with uh, Di Zhang Pusa. Di Zhang Pusa also was a prince. Except uh, Sakamuni Buddha is from India and Di Zhang Pusa is from Korea. Uh, he's, he was a Korean prince. And No, 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 no. No, he's not originally from India. He's originally from Korea. But how many in life before he was an Indian? That I don't know. But according to the... <laughs> Well, that's what the um, uh, legend uh, were saying that you know the last uh, the last life that he was a Korean prince and cultivated in Johar Mountain and became a Dijang Posa. Yeah. Well, that's the reason they. Uh, call him Di Zhang Pusa, and actually they call him Jin Di Zhang because his last name is Jin. And so they call it Jin Di Zhang. And because he had the vows to save all beings, not just human, but all kind of beings. And so that's why they said that he's the one that reincarnated from the past uh, Di Zhang Pusa. And probably the one that you refer that uh, he was an Indian is because uh, Polo Neiman, uh, 那个, 有一个, uh, 那个, uh, what's that uh, lady? The lady that, uh, uh, she also because you knew, remember in uh, Yunnan, Pu, Yunnan Pen uh, Sutra, Yunnan Sutra, yeah, one of the lady, one of the young lady that uh, she uh, found out that her parents, that when uh, that was in the hell suffering, and then so she prayed to uh, the Buddha, the Buddha, and then asked uh, to ha how she can help. The, her parents, not Mu Jianlin, but another one. They Polo Menu, yeah. So maybe you refer to the in that he was an Indian. So it must be, yeah, yeah. So that must be the one that you were referring to. Yeah, that's Zai Di Zhang Jing. So that means, you know, because Di Zhang Pusa has been vowing, uh, been having all these great vows, many lives, life after life. So that's why he was uh, named the greatest vow uh, Bodhisattva. Plug in. <laughs> no more power. <laughs> Okay, but the, the one that uh, almost everybody uh, recognize is the one that he was the prince of Korea. Yeah. Okay, Di Zhang Pusa. Okay, let's read the Chinese. Shi Jia Mo Ni Fo. Si da do tai zi. 
，施家族之圣人。智慧不可思议，辩才不可思议，神通不可思议。That's what it says、uh, in the video, right? That、uh, 释迦牟尼佛 prays、uh, 地藏菩萨。And 释迦牟尼佛 before he was the Buddha, he was a prince. And his name is Sida Sida Do Tai Zi. Si Sida Do Tai Zi. Yeah, Sida Da. Yeah, yeah. That is、uh, in Chinese we call it Sida Do. Yeah, Sida Da. Si Jia Zhu Zhi Sheng Ren. That's what that Sija Moni for mean. Okay, Sija is the last name of a Buddha. Moni in Sanskrit it means 圣人 okay, or saint, uh, or uh. So that means Sija Moni. Actually, the meaning of Sija Moni in Chi in uh Chinese explanation is Sija Zhu. The Sengren. Okay, Sija Moni Fo, uh, 对地藏菩萨说，地藏菩萨是一个智慧不可思议的人，又是一个辩才不可思议，神通也不可思议。Okay. Would you all read the Chinese? Okay, 地藏菩萨，释迦牟尼佛，释迦多太子，释迦族之圣人，智慧不可思议，辩才不可思议。神通不可思议。Okay, next one, please. 在影片里，师父告诉我们，我们应该诵读《南无大愿地藏王菩萨》。《南无大愿地藏王菩萨》。Okay, and then we also should pay respect to the Zhang Wang Posa, Gong Jing, because the Zhang Wang Posa and us have Da Yin Yuan, Da Yin Yuan, great affinity. Okay, and if we recite the Zhang Posa's name. Then, if we can recite it、uh, regularly, then we will connect with him. That is, 念念相通 And if we recite it more and more and keep reciting, we eventually become his family members or relatives. We will become his 眷属 Or his bandu, bandu. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Let's read the Chinese. Namo Da Yuan Di Zhang Wang Pusa. Gong Jing. Da Yin Yuan. Nian Nian Xiang Tong. 眷属，伴侣。Okay, Namo actually is also a Sanskrit, ah,、uh, because as ah、uh, the standard in translation, 
we generally do not translate it when the when the word has more than one meaning. So that's why it still remains as a Sanskrit. So Nam Mo actually is a Sanskrit. Da Yuan, Da Yuan, that means Di Zhang Wang Pusa has great vows, right? So remember his great vows? What is his great vows? Yeah, that's right. One more. What else? Zhong Sheng Zhong Sheng Du Jin Fang Zheng Pu Ti. That's his great vows. Okay, Gong Jing. Da Yin Yuan. Nian Nian Xiang Tong. Nian Nian Xiang Tong. How do you call it? What is Nian Nian Xiang Tong? How can you get connected? <laughs> no, 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 not connected with Shen Tong. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> That's Xiang Tong, it's not Shen Tong. <laughs> Xiang Tong is, is uh, communication. <laughs> How can you get connected? Recitation. Not just recitation, but has to be what? Huh? That's right. Mindful. Mindful of mindful of recitation. Yeah. <laughs> do you think so? <laughs> what do you think? That's not called mindful. If you if you reciting just with your mouth and no mind, you know, that's not mindful. Right? <laughs> that's mouthful, not mindful. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, you're not mindful enough. <laughs> got to got to change. <laughs> so that's not mindful. You know, when you are mindful, you know, all you can think is the, uh, the Buddha's name that you are reciting. doesn't matter if it's uh, Di Zhang Wang Pusa or Amitabha or Guan Xi Yin Pusa. If you are mindful, you are thinking of him. Uh, you are thinking of that Bodhisattva, that the name that you are reciting. And when you have the uh, mind, Thinking, keep keep the thought of that Bodhisattva or the Buddha. You know, the Buddha also will think of you. I don't know, some of you mothers probably will also have that kind of feeling. You know, when you worry about your children so much, you think about your children so much, your children probably also have the same thought of you, right? Or sometimes maybe your children... Uh, have something happening that you uh, probably don't know. But being a mother, being a very close parent, especially a mother, you, you will also have that kind of feeling because I'm a mother, you know, I do. You know, I'm, I'm sure some of your mothers also have the same type of feeling, right? That is called mindful. You know, you, you are thinking of him, and he's thinking of you. And that is how you can get connected. How do <laughs> Well, it depends on what are the things that you are doing. I mean, it doesn't mean that, say, for instance, you know, 
Well, you, you finish reciting and then you go out and uh, hurt somebody, right? Then that's not right, you know. So it doesn't matter how many uh, times you recite the Buddha's name, you're still not going anywhere because you are defeating your purpose, right? <laughs> okay. All right, any more questions before we go on? Uh huh. Yin Yuan. Well, uh, Yin Yuan, you know, uh, Yuan is like a condition, right? But without the Yin, that is not affinity. Because when there is a yin yuan, that means you had uh, some connection before with uh, the certain person, uh, with uh, uh, somebody else, you know. Then it's affinity. Like for instance, uh, you meet someone that uh, you maybe say, for, for instance, today. You meet someone, but actually you only see him today. But you never. But somehow you saw him after you meet this person. You somehow in your mind it seems like you have seen him before. I don't know. You have that kind of uh, uh, right? Yeah. See, like um, what. Actually, it happened to me this time when I went to Taiwan. And there was one person came up to me. Oh, I didn't know you are uh, Tan Ju Si. You know, because uh, when I was in Taiwan, uh, in our way place, uh, Fa Jie, Taipei, uh, the Dhamma Master asked me to uh, give a talk. And so also the Dhamma Master introduced me and then this lady came up to me after I finished talking. And then she said, oh, I didn't know you are a uh, Tan Ju Si. You know? I said, not until I heard you uh, talk and the Dhamma Master introduced you. I said, oh, how come? And then she said, because I had a dream of you. And I said, oh? <laughs> I said, have we met? <laughs> she said, no. She said, I have never met you because I didn't even know who you are. She lived in Canada. And then uh, she just happened to be in Taiwan for, uh, for a few months. And then so she went to Fa Jie. And that must be the past life in Yuan or uh, Whatever, uh, or how did she, how how come she will have a dream of me, right? And then the funny thing is, she said, uh, she said because she, I said, how come you will dream of me, right? <laughs> no. No, she said because she dreamed of me because she dreamed of Shifu. And Shifu told her if she wanted to help, then she should uh, come ask me and help me in uh, the education program in China. She says, you know, we, I'm doing an education program in China for the RBA. And anyway, so that's what her dream's about. And the reason I tell you about this story is because that must be the past life affinity. You know, because when I saw her, it seems like I had seen her before, but she says she had never met me. So how come I would have that kind of feeling? It must be yin yuan. Yeah, yin is the, the or, original uh, reason that is yin. 
you know, with the original reason, then we have a yin. With, with the yin, then we will have a guo. Yeah? That's why it's called yin guo. Guo, the result, the fruit, yin guo. You know, you have a fact, and then you will have a condition, right? But in this case, it's not yin guo, it's yin yuan. Yuan is affinity. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yuan, not necessary, uh, uh, not necessary, just uh, yuan, you know. But Chinese are very lazy. Lots of the time, they don't want to say too much. <laughs> They'll say, 我可以有缘. Okay. But it's not necessary, just yuan. It has to have a yin. So that's why it has a yuan, you know. Okay. Now we go on the next one. Oh, that's it. <laughs> what? What? Well, that means I thought of you, you thought of me. <laughs> well, true. Yeah, every thought, you know, if we do not connect, you know, even I'm thinking of you, you, you may not thinking of me, right? But it has to be connect. So then every thought will be connected. Then that means I'm, when I'm thinking of you, you are also thinking of me. That is called nian nian xiang tong. That means if you recite the Buddha's name or the Bodhisattva's name, as mindful as that or as vigorous as that, then you will be connected with the, Bo- with the Buddha or with the Bodhisattva. Okay, that is nian nian xiang tong. Any more questions? Family members and relatives, so the word is. Juan Su. Juan Su. In your family members, you know, all your family members, you can call it Juan Su. See, Bodhisattva, you know, like uh, Earth Store Bodhisattva, he see all beings are his family members. You know, he thinks all beings are his companions, his partner. He cares about them, just like his own family members, just like his own companions, his own partners. No. But, but remember inside the, 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 the pagoda. We see one that they put in the gold hole. That's I forgot. You know. No, it's inside a pagoda. Uh, that is the earth store Bodhisattva's body, Sorella. But inside the Buddha hall, we saw the, the person. They only put all the gold. Oh, that is a, a different one. That is not the earth right. store Bodhisattva. That is called uh, Wu Xia Fa Shi. Wu Xia Fa Shi also lived and cultivated in Jiu, Jiu Hua Mountain. And he lived it until about 90, 91 or 90 years old and entered Nirvana. And because he also a vigorous cultivator and also he cared for the people around Jiu Hua Mountain, and people claim that uh, he may be also the re- reincarnation of uh, Earth's door Bodhisattva. But regardless, his body, Sorella, uh, was discovered and also was uh, uh, honored by an emperor. So that's why they have uh, his uh, body, Sorella, uh, yeah, put in. Yeah. That is 
，呃，百岁宫，百岁宫 ，Yeah， in that、uh, small temple， is called 百岁宫。When Aristotle Buddhasava、uh, built his first temple, is called 化成寺。If you guys have、uh, been in Jiuhua Mountain, you probably remember that is the oldest temple in Jiuhua Mountain. But now、uh, that they turned that Jiuhua, I mean, they turned that temple into a museum now. So there's no more、uh, Hua Cheng Si, Hua Cheng Temple. That's right. Yeah, that's the cave that he was staying until、uh, until this、uh, wealthy person Min Gong offered him the land to build the temple. Yeah, he stayed in that cave for about、uh, more than ten years. Anyway,、uh, I forgot how many years, but he's been、uh, sitting cultivating、uh, there for quite many years before people discover him. That is right. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, you know, Kai mentioned about the footprint. That I I should tell you guys、uh, about that story. When Aristotle Buddhasava、uh, cultivated in Jiuhua Mountain, and he stand in one place to bow to the sutra,、uh, why when he was cultivating. And because he,、uh, he's a very tall person, he's a、uh, about seven foot tall person, and he's、uh, very、uh, healthy and very strong. Yeah, he's from Korea. Korea people are pretty pretty tall. Yeah. Dama Master Lu. Well, maybe in the old time, the way they measure is different than now. Yeah, because in the old time they say seven feet tall、uh, person is like an average person. It's not really, yeah. You know, the old Chinese,、uh, old way of Chinese measurement is different than now. Yeah, but anyway, he's a tall person, according to、uh, the legend, and he bow to the sutra、uh, every day. So. To in order to、uh, imprinted his footprints on the ground, so you still be able to see the footprints when you、uh, go up to the Jiuhua Mountain. And the footprint measure pretty big too. And in the museum, they exhibit、uh, a pair of his shoes. Well, not shoes.、Uh, I should say like a sandal. You know. But made of straw, straw sandals, because、uh, Jiuhua Mountain in the winter time they also snow, so maybe that's why he can he only wears straw sandal because I remember we also had to buy the straw <laughs> sandals in order to in order to walk on the snow. <laughs> yeah, otherwise、uh, you, you it's very slippery, you know, without the straw shoes.、Um, Anyway, so when they exhibit the、uh, straw sandals that was from、uh, Earth Store Bodhisattva,、uh, and measure the sandal with the footprint is about the same size. So that's why they claim that、uh, the straw sandal was worn by、uh, Earth Store Bodhisattva that's、uh, exhibited in in the museum nowadays. But anyway,、uh, if you have time or you have a chance to go visit、uh, China, this is one of a, a very interesting place to visit、uh, because they still have the oldest temple that was built、uh, way back in the Tang Dynasty. And although now it's not a temple,、uh, it's a museum now, but you still be able to see the original place. Okay, I think、uh, we're gonna uh, uh, finish the class、uh, earlier today. So,、uh, 
YC can show you a little bit about the Korea, uh, Korean trips that I went. Third. Yes. Uh, 17 to what day? You can go every day after uh, 19, after, after 19. November, 19. Uh, so one week after then. Yeah. One week after then is uh, Thanksgiving. Right. I cannot go that, I cannot come on that day. I have to go in, go, go take a look at my calendar yeah. before I can, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then the next class lesson is uh, November 3rd, okay? Next Saturday, yeah. Uh, we, we have to put the lesson closes, uh, I mean, uh, close together, you know, with just one week because uh, I was away. So before we go on watching the slides, and so if you have any question, uh, please, Ask right now. Huh? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not leaving early. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, any questions before we go on? No? No more questions. Okay. Let's watch the video one more time. before we watch the slides. No. Of course. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> You're reading my mind.今天呢这一部经是佛教的里边的一部孝经一部孝经啊救度世间一切众生地狱什么时候会空呢发大愿力
。那么因为这个，释迦牟尼佛才赞叹他，说：“地藏，地藏。”如之智慧不可思议，说你的智慧呀、啊、是没有人能比的，你的呃这个辩才也是不可思议的，呃你的神通也是不可思议的。那、嗯、么地藏菩萨和每一位众生都有大因缘。那、啊、么每一位众生啊，应该常念恭敬，那么。大愿地藏王菩萨，俺们能常念地藏王菩萨，地藏王菩萨也是常念俺们啊，互相啊念念相通，俺们呃将来和地藏菩萨也作为眷眷属。Okay, so、uh, we're going to show you guys the photos of、uh, Korea.